If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best free wildcard player to take from the wildcard fantasy pack, guys. Now, I did actually record this video already, and the video got corrupt. So, you're going to see the clip of me opening the pack at the end and going over all the stuff I took later on. And it'll, it'll probably seem a little bit different. But. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to go over it all again for you guys and just knock this out, right, for you guys. Because, again, it is what it is. You get technical difficulties as part of the job, right? But anyways, guys, we're going to be going over our best five to choose out overall. Because remember, this pack lets you have an opportunity of taking a veteran, heavyweight, flashback, or rising star. Remember, carefully, when you open the pack, you get to pick one promo. Once you pick that promo, you're locked into one of those players. So I chose not to open it so I was actually ready to go ahead and do so, right? If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that on your bell. Give the video a big thumbs up, boys. If you guys need any coins, head on down below to my new sponsor, Super Cheap Coins. Don't want to miss out on that opportunity. But yeah, let's head on into this, guys. We're going to start with our top five here. Now, if you guys want to know, actually, before to preface that, Wildcard Wednesday is our weekly promo that drops if you guys are new to the game. And as you guys already probably know, if you're not, we're, we get solos every week. Now, if you did miss one of the week's worth of solos, they do expire. Don't fret. You still can go ahead and get this free player. It's just going to set you back a week. Every tier one is pretty much five stars, so every every tier is pretty much a week, right? So wildcard Wednesday weeks one through four. Once you get to tier four and so on and so forth, they're going to get a player every four weeks. So every month, just about you get a free player, all the way down. So you'll get a free player from that set. So yes, you're going to be one week behind for the rest of the year. So pretty much, guys, make sure you're playing this weekly because if you miss a few weeks of this, before you know it, you'll be getting players so outdated, right? Like you're, gonna, I'm telling you, that's what's good about this. If you stay up to date with it, you're going to get top tier players like Patrick Sertain, ninety overall. Like you're going to be getting good players at the overalls now if you fall a few weeks behind you'll be getting this card in like three weeks let's say if you didn't start till this week and now suddenly you're getting an 89 to 90 overall and we have 93s already in the game right it's just not the same and so so if you guys see we're gonna be getting it all the way down 17 to 20 21 to 24 all the way down to tier 48 which means guys that means they're releasing them if each one right every four weeks is every tier is pretty much a week so that's 48 total weeks which means they're gonna be releasing free players Pretty much the entire year, right? There's X amount of weeks in a year, 48, right? So we have 52 weeks in a year, right? And we have 48 weeks they're giving us. So that pretty much means only for four weeks will we not be receiving any. And they didn't start till a weekend. So pretty much, let's just say Madden comes out in August again next year. We're pretty much getting Wildcard Wednesday up until the end of July or early August. That's pretty awesome. In my opinion, guys, why I like this is because a lot of people don't always start Madden right away. Some people will start Madden later in the year so this will give them a chance to come and start grinding in and just knocking out a bunch of these and maybe if it's late in the year they'll start re-releasing some older ones so people can catch up because it is kind of unfair if a no money spent guy kind of like get you know a play releases the game free in the spring people go to gamestop and get it used for 10 bucks they buy it from a friend who doesn't play it anymore it is kind of messed up that you can hop on like in april and you only get one per week and pretty much you'll max out getting the tier if you're lucky you'll get like tier 16 at some point and that player is like a 91 overall and we already have 99s right so i'm hoping that you actually towards the end re-release a bunch of them or release them back also people can just grind through and start getting all their players this would be a good thing for no money spent guys to really start building their late end team because you're not going to be buying you're not going to be buying um points at that point in the year you may buy coins coins is a great value at that point in the year but no one's going to cop on and buy 100 dollars bundles if you're just playing for fun in the summer right but yeah make sure you're playing that weekly guys super easy solos literally every solo takes less than like a minute to give or take what the solo is um, unless they're the harder ones, but really less than a minute. Knock them out sometimes in one play. Very simple to do. It all took me like five minutes total altogether. So let's head it over. So let's get into our rankings, guys, and why I like who I do actually like on this list. Now, again, pretty obviously there's gonna be more rising stars in this list than pretty much every other one. And it's pretty simple, right? Flashbacks dropped first. That was the one, you know, one of the first things. So that was one of the earliest things. So we have like 88 overalls there. We have lower overalls, 87s. Rising stars have a 90 overall. So a smart person is going to go ahead and take the higher overalls because they will last you longer. It's pretty simple, right? It's, 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 it's efficiency. So let's knock out our number five on the list, which is not certain. Like I said, I did have to re-record this and do everything again. But our fifth overall guy is going to be Jalen Waddell. He, he's one of the cheaper ones. And again, Jalen Waddell actually probably would be the first one if it wasn't because of his, his position and the anti-scarcity that's there. There are so many guys just like him. Now, in years past, a guy that's at just as fast as Tyreek Hill for free would be a surefire number one pick for almost everyone. But this year, guys, at level 10, you do get a free Jamar Chase if you want to go that route. So there you go. That cancels out Jalen Waddell. 
when you level up, you get a free Devin Hester, which is pretty much Jalen Waddle. You get a um, the free Tyree kill from the MCS tournament. That's another free, pretty much Jalen Waddle. Again, if you're a money spent guy, then you get Calvin, you get Jerry Rice, you get Joe Galloway, you get Joe Galloway free from Campus Hero. So there's so many guys like him. So this like this speedy wide receiver top tier thing just isn't as rare as it has been in years past. But if you for whatever reason didn't get any of those free players and you can't afford a God Squad like that, then this will be your guy. But that is why he's picked five because not many people are going to be in that exact situation where you didn't grind enough to have any of the other guys, you didn't watch the stream, but you also don't have coins, right? That means you probably like just started today. So in that case, you can go ahead and you probably can't even do the solos at that point, right? Because you're, you're weeks behind. So realistically, that, that level of player is just not really going to be in that situation. Next, guys, I do want to preface this by saying this guy may be the best. This guy's the best quarterback in Mutt, which is Zach Wilson. And the reason he's number four on my list and not one is because, remember, this video is the best free player to choose. Free players and players are very different. The best players to choose with coins comes down to the best players in Mutt. The best three players to choose comes down to who's going to last longest in your team and who's the best bang for your buck. Because again, I had like two free campus heroes and two to three kickoff players. I took a left tackle, left guard, center, and I believe right guard. And I don't know what I did with the other one. But I took almost an entire offensive line. Oh, and a linebacker. I took almost an entire offensive line because I hate buying offensive linemen. I don't like upgrading them. I hate having to lose coins on offensive linemen. I don't even notice offensive line sometimes. So I put it out of position where I don't want to spend coins. Another thing, when I get free players, I like to take cornerbacks, safeties, linebackers. Why? Because at a linebacker spot, you can move them from left, middle to right. A safety can move them from free to strong to linebacker. A cornerback can move them from one to two to three to four to five. A wide receiver, I don't like taking quarterbacks as my free player. Now, Zach Wilson is the best quarterback in Mutt. Guys, he's the only uh, player in the game of Gunslinger. He's very obviously the best player that you could take on this list. But again, if you, unless you're a God Squad, and or, or there's two things, right? Other, either you're a God Squad, and you don't care for those other players, you just want Zach Wilson, or you're a super, super budget team that can't afford to get the other guys, right? Like you can't afford to just take the best player on the the free list and then come back and buy Zach Wilson. You literally can't afford him. So just go ahead and get him. Or if you're a Jets fan, but for me, if you if you have if you're a team that has coins and you're kind of and you're I'm not a God Squad, right? You have a team that has coins and you're trying to still be efficient with your free players. So you don't have to, I don't like replacing free players. If I have to take a free player and replace him in a week, that was a waste of a free player and a, a waste. Of, if I'm grinding for this, he needs to last. So Zach Wilson again, best quarterback in mud at number four. Would I take him with my free player? No, I'll go ahead and buy him separately because then I can just sell him later. As a quarterback, will have some value, but I don't personally believe in taking a quarterback at that spot because again. Quarterbacks, one of the few positions where when you put them at backup, they will never see the field again, ever. Next, number three is Montez Sweat. He's still kicking it, guys. He's still the uh, one of the best, if not the best, end in the game. Very simply, he has 90 finesse move powered up with 88 speed, 91 excel at six foot six. He's super fast. He has 88 hit power. And again, he's off the edge, right? He's super fast. He needs to the quarterback instantly the second he gets off the edge. So he's going to be very hard to throw away from or run away from unless you're faster than him. And there's really no quarterback faster than him, like, consistently right that people are going to be starting right now zach wilson sure isn't and neither is daniel jones maybe vince young with the skate artist but otherwise guys the other thing about him too being six foot six if you do pop him out into a quick flat or purple like on goal line or you're trying to do some kind of finesse little defense there that six foot six i don't know if he'll catch it but he will swat it he will be in the way he will make a he could make a play and that's what i like about him as well uh, again very different it really depends how you play coming in number two again another guy that could have been number one and the really the thing that stopped him it was two factors here. So number two is going to be Divine Diablo. Why is he not number one? People may ask. First off, he's cheaper than the next guy. And second, because of the position, right? I love Divine Diablo, but this man is very different. I'll get into that. So 90 speed, 91 excel, 89 tackle, 89 pursuit, 90 man. He's going to be the best user card in the game. Why? What do you look for in a user? You look for speed, tackle, pursuit, hit power, height. He arguably is going to be the best at almost every position at that right now. He's going to have a 90 hit power threshold, 90 pursuit threshold, 90 tackle threshold, above 90 speed, 6 foot 3, 226, and he gets 84 block shit, 85 change of direction. This card's an absolute beast. Now, the only reason he's not number one is for a few reasons. First off, safety's a, safety's a death position. But this year, we have Sean Taylor, Ed Reed, Free Cam Chancellor, and Divine Diablo, which means I'm going to have to get rid of one of them. Oh, and Trevon Morig. So it's very likely that you may have a tr you may have trouble with your with just putting people in spots. Overall, it's going to be a little bit tougher for a lot of people to fit him into their lineup. Unless you're again budget squad, very different. But if you have the cam ready up, that's already going to be the safety. And if you're ready, to this, I have Sean Taylor and I have Ed Reed. It just gets a little bit hectic. Other most times he would have been number one. And again, guys, the reason he's not number one is because the number one player is going to just be a better value for me. And in a position where there's even more depth, and that's going to be Patrick Sertain. First off, he's two over 200k, about 216 right now. So that's going to be just an upgrade over like 40, 50k you're saving. So if you're like a god squad, like you're looking to save coins here, right? Now, if you're a budget team, you may be taking who you want. But Patrick Sertain, 
There's a reason why he's, he is where he is. First off, cornerbacks, you can have a one, two, three, four, and potentially even five. If anyone gets tired, they're coming in. So you could play him like he could start as your one right now, right? He's going to be 91 overall. Start as your one. In a week or two, he could be your two. In a month or two, he could be your four. And how often do you really change cornerbacks, right? Once you get the guys you want, they're expensive. So then before you know it, he could be your five by like November. He could be at your five spot. Like that's still usable. Like that might be the most like long-term card on this list. Not to mention he gets 90 speed powered up. 91 excel 90 agility 92 jumping 91 man 90 zone 91 press he's gonna be a zone press man corner like ramsey with elite speed six foot two height with elite height at cornerback 202 and it gets even better 90 91 jumping and 90 cod and 78 hit power he'll have 79 hit power powered up and if you have the right strategy card in him you will get hit power as well to 80 which would make it's just an elite card it's super elite he could play the one two three four five spots at corner especially if anyone gets fatigued or for whatever reason and you could always and the other good thing about a corner right how often is it like okay you have Darrell revis but you want to sell him right now because it's, he's going down in price but if you sell him then you're gonna be missing a corner that's good move certain back up right so like let's say you have four corners on your team certain's number four and then come around november you know a big promo is coming out soon so you want to sell some of your team off you could sell your number one corner goes to 400k and then move everyone up the line then certain's on your third he's still usable like that's the beauty of having depth positions like that covered up because you need multiple players there so if you want to sell one you can just knock one up but that's my opinion guys likely go ahead and take what i think is the best quarterback in mud zach wilson probably will i go ahead and maybe pick up diablo probably will i take him as my free one i will not be doing that i'm gonna go into my rising star pack right now and i'm gonna take who i think is the best value for my team which again is going to be that's a really cool card art uh pack animation i mean so again these are all great all five of these cards are good the only reason i didn't go with ed tandy is because there's too many running backs as good as him but he doesn't have the weight they're all good they're all they're all great cards but i think certain the pick he's going to he's just too he's fast he's fast he's tall he's strong he can play man he can play zone he can press and once they fix zones and stuff and they fix he's gonna probably be a lockdown corner that is it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always guys if you haven't already comment down below let me know who you took but yeah enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace